Hello world, welcome to CyberCrete and today in this video we are going to see the popular questions known as secrets of zeros and ones and this question has been asked in Goldman Sachs and Paytm so this is pretty important question so let's start. If you are going to think of this question, this question is not too hard if you are going to use the right approach. In this question you are given like a list of zeros and ones and then what you have to do you have to print that zeros first and the ones after that like in this case you have zero zero one one zero and then you have one 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 and one so we are going to just print one 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 but in this case of zero zero one one zero we are going to print zeros first first we have to print zero then we have to print the rest ones so here we can see our question but if you are going to use some type of algorithm that is used for sorting if you are going to think that if you are just going to simply sort this array and get this solution well it is going to work but it is going to give you a time limit exceed error here you can see that the test cases are of 100 elements and total number of elements in our array can lie between 1 to 10 to the power 7 so if we are going to apply any algorithms like sorting algorithm so the sorting algorithm is going to take at least n log n time but here you have to solve this problem using big O of n time so solving this question in big O of n time is not so super complicated the most simple approach that I can come up with is that first we can just loop through our array once like first we are going to go to zero and just count the number of zeros and then we can simply count the number of ones so once we are done counting with number of zeros now and number of ones what we can do we can just use a loop to print total number of zeros like here we count zero is one two and three so total number of zeros are three so we are going to simply print three zeros then also we have to keep the track of ones so here you can see that we have two ones so simply we are going to print the two ones later and in this case we are going to find the number of zeros so it is zero time so we are going to print zero zero time which means we are not completely going to print it and then we are simply going to count our ones so one is four so we can simply print one four times so let me show you the approach we can use this using the hash map as you can see here first what we are going to do we are simply going to take input from the user like total number of test cases it is stored in t and in this loop we are taking the length of the array as here we here we are taking the length of the array we basically don't need it in python and then we are simply taking all the elements of the list in our list l we are simply mapping every of them with integer then here is the most interesting part here we are creating an empty dictionary d then we are simply looping through all these letters in our array and then we are simply counting if we encounter the zero for the very first time we are saying it okay be the one and again when we encounter zero we are incrementing the key zero to plus one means now we have the two zeros and then when it's encountered one for the very first time then we are simply saying okay one the key value of the one is one and again when we are seeing one we are incrementing the key value of one to two and then we are incrementing the zero to three and like that till the end in our dictionary we would have zero and one keys and uh, with their respective number of occurrences and once we have done that we can simply call our function display d that we wrote here to display all these elements in single line like here if zero and d first we are checking if zero exists in our dictionary or not because if zero does not exist we don't need to actually print it so if there is zero we are simply taking zero is equal to d of zero which is basically taking the total number of zeros in our array and then we are simply looping through the number of zeros in our array and we are printing zero zero and then we are printing basically a single space so that to separate this and then again if one is in d so if one is also in d then we are checking if one is there then we are taking the total number of ones then we are using a simple loop where we are simply going to print the total number of ones here and this is pretty much uh, the approach that i can come up with and this is a big o of n time solution so you can just also try to solve this using different types of algorithm so this is the solution that i came up with well there are many other solutions too the second solution that you can think of is that 
of big O of n time is that we can just simply find the sum of this array. So the sum of this array will be 2. So this will basically tell us how many number of ones we have. If we have 2 then we are simply left with 2 number of ones. And then we can simply subtract this number of ones from our total length like we have total number of ones is 2. So we can simply subtract 5 minus 2 which we are going to get 3 and then we know that we have the 3 total number of zeros. And in the case of this 4, so we are going to find the sum, it is going to be 4. So we know that there are 4 ones and when we are going to subtract to find the 0, then we are going to subtract 4 minus 4 which means 0 means we don't have any 0 in our list. So we are not going to print any 0. So this is another solution that you can try. It is also big of n solution and you can come up with many solutions of this. So you can just try to go to this link in the description and you can just try to think of a different approach and try to implement it. And that's all for this video and I hope that you gain some information out of it and thanks for watching.